Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieved this really beautiful, soft, glam, neutral look for Eid. I can't believe that Ramadan is almost halfway done already. So I really wanted to get up some different Eid looks for you guys, depending on what outfits or what vibes you guys are going for. I wanted to make sure I got up a lot of options for you guys before Eid came in. So this is the first look that I came up with. I'm really loving how it turned out and I think it's perfect for any outfit so if you want to see how I achieved this look just keep on watching so I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills soft glam palette and this is my go-to palette for whenever I just want a beautiful soft glam look it has literally every shade of brown that you need so the first shade that I went in with is sienna and I'm just using that as my transition color and I'm just going in and blending that out out taking the time to make sure I have an effortless blend and that there's no harsh lines so the next shade that I'm going in with is called Mulberry and I love this shade just to intensify my crease so I'm going in with that and I love to use this shade just to add some more definition to my crease so that is why I'm going in with that and it's this beautiful dark brown shade like it kind of has a red undertone as well I don't know how to describe it but it's just such a beautiful shade so I'm just working that into my crease okay so now I'm going to clean up my lid you guys know I love to do this step and I'm going in with my MAC Pearl Long Wear Paint Pot in the shade Laying Low and I really love to use this paint pot because the eyeshadow just sticks onto it so well so it makes it really pop and it lasts all day keeps your eyeshadow from creasing so next I'm going in with the shade Glistening and this shimmer shadow honestly is what brings the whole eyeshadow look to life. I really love this color and as you guys can see when I was holding it up I kind of digged into it a lot so that just shows that I really love this shade. It's really my gold to shimmer shade for whenever I don't know what I'm going to wear and I know this shade will like go with any outfit. So. <laughs> That sounds so crazy to think of planning your, your shadows with your outfits, but guys, it's honestly so key, okay? Because you don't want your makeup clashing with what you're wearing. Ain't nobody got time for that. So that's what I'm going in with now. And now I'm just going back in with that shade Mulberry and slowly blending it into Listening so that there's a beautiful gradient effect between the two shades. And then I'm just going in with a wet wipe just to clean up all that fallout from the shadow. And now it's time to prep our skin for some foundation. So I'm going in with my Too Faced Hangover Primer. As you guys can see, I'm pretty excited about it. You can see me melding. It's so good. I love, love this primer. It is my holy grail for dry skin. And next foundation, you guys already know, my holy grail ultimate favorite foundation. It's the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Brulee. I love this foundation so much because it gives me such great hydration and a glow. And it's really honestly the best foundation if you have dry skin like me. And now it's time to conceal our under eyes, get rid of those eye bags. Nobody wants to see that on Eid. We want to slay and look rejuvenated and wide awake, all right? So I'm going in with my Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Concealer or Multi-Use Super Coverage Concealer in the shade Warm Sand. It's full coverage, so if you have really dark under eyes, this is perfect for you. Great for dry skin because it also has a lot of hydration in it. So I love, love this concealer. I haven't actually been using any other concealer since this came out. In a world filled with matte foundations releasing every 2.5 seconds, I just really love that Too Faced is looking out for us dry skin girls and is making products that can help us stay hydrated and not ashy. So this is why these two products I use religiously in every video just because it's so hard to find a really good hydrating foundation these days like I don't know what's going on like the matte trend needs to end you know get something for us dry skin girls we need love too like seriously makeup brands wake up let me know in the comment section below if you agree if you have dry skin and you're tired of brands making only matte products because we need some dewy products too you know 
So now I'm going to set my under eyes using my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. You guys already know this is like the goat of all setting powders. It is the best. It holds your concealer all day, anything. You can set your whole face with this and it's not going to budge. It's not going to crease and there's no flashback. So as you guys can see, I'm also bringing the powder all the way to the end of my nose because as the day goes on, that is where my foundation tends to separate first and crease. So I always like to take that extra preventative measure and make sure I set around my nose really well so then my foundation does not budge throughout the day. I also like to set around my mouth where my smile lines are because, you know, Eid is just such a happy day. You know you're going to be smiling. You know you're going to be laughing. You're with your loved ones. You're living your best life, okay? You already know you're going to have smile lines and your foundation is going to crease. So I just make sure to set that all in place so that when I laugh and smile, my foundation stays where it's supposed to be. So now it's time to bronze up our face and I'm going in with the Cover FX Monochromatic Bronzer Duo and I use the shade um, Suntan Bronze. So I'm just going ahead and bronzing on my cheeks, contouring my nose to add some definition to our face, you know, make our face look snatched. And now I'm going in with some blush. I know guys, who am I? I normally never use blush, but guys, I've been really loving this Cover FX Monochromatic Blush Duo, and I'm using the shade Warm Honey. And then now I'm going in with some highlighter, and guys, I've been loving this highlighter from ColourPop. I've basically been loving all the products that I've been using as you guys can tell and it's called their fairest of all highlighter it's this beautiful golden highlight and on my skin tone i love gold highlights like that's all i gravitate towards and now i'm gonna set my face using the Too faced hangover setting spray and i always like to do this before i put on my mascara or my lashes just because i don't want to take a chance of my lashes getting wet or my mascara getting wet and smudging on my eyes you know what i mean but i love to use this setting spray because not only does it hold all of my makeup in place it gives me a lot of hydration and it keeps me from looking dry throughout the day so if you have dry skin i would definitely recommend the setting spray now I'm just putting on some mascara before I apply my lashes. Since I'm using a new pair of lashes, I just gotta cut it and adjust it to my eye shape. So while my lashes are getting tacky and I'm waiting for them to dry down, I'm just gonna go in with this MAC Bittersweet Lip Pencil by MAC. And I'm not sure if it's discontinued because I couldn't find it on the MAC website, but it's this beautiful dark brown. And I love to use it under like really bright nude lipsticks because it kind of makes them blend in to be a perfect color for my skin tone. And then I'm going to go over this lip pencil with my ColourPop Dream Date Cream Lippy Stick. Let me know what you guys think about this lip combo. I feel like it made the perfect nude. Now that my lashes are tacky enough, I'm going to go ahead and apply them. And I'm using the Velour Here to Slay Lashes. And guys, the name says it all, man. On Eat, I'm trying to slay, period, okay? And I just felt like the name of these lashes just fit the occasion perfectly. So that is the lashes we're going with today. Alright guys, and this is the final look. As you guys can see, I'm really feeling myself with these slow-mos. Oh my gosh, I can't. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this look. Is this something that you guys would rock on Eid? I feel like this look is just so subtle but still so glamorous. So I think that's what I love about it the most. This is the first tutorial going up for my Eid series. So let me know in the comments below what other looks you guys would like me to film for you guys in time for Eid. Inshallah, I want to get you guys as many options as possible before or eat so let me know i'm thinking of filming a colorful bold look for our next video if you guys enjoyed this tutorial make sure you give it a big thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button so that you join our family i have a lot more eid content and ramadan content still coming up my ramadan vlog is gonna be up on sunday as well so make sure you guys stay tuned for that and like always i'll see you guys in my next video